Hi, my name's Martin Underhill and I live with mental health day to day. I was talking to senior police leaders from across the country last Friday and I said, um, 10 years ago, if I stood here and said to you I had mental health issues, you would be able to hear a pin drop and the whole room would stop. Now I've just said it and you're all smiling. I said, times are changing, policing is changing. It's about time we all spoke about it. I mean, the referrals in Dorset Police this year asking for help for mental health issues has skyrocketed and that means that the staff are starting to talk and managers are accepting it's okay to talk. I, I think things have changed so much. I mean 12 years ago when I had my breakdown it was completely taboo. I think sometimes you do need to push people. If I'd been pushed 12 years ago I probably would have talked about it. Uh, I just didn't feel very well, I felt really angry, I felt confused and I didn't know what was going on the next minute I'm staring at a wall. I stared at a wall for a week and then I was put on medication and I would think a month after I had my breakdown I started talking to people I don't know. It's easy to talk to people you don't know if you're mentally ill than it is to talk to your loved ones. Um, that's just a horrible thing to say but it's true. Uh, and then I realised actually it's okay to talk to someone I don't know about mental health and so I had quite intensive therapy and now I talk about it openly. Every day I get up and I health check myself and I have various things that tell me if I'm in a good place or a bad place. If I'm in a bad place I have coping mechanisms. Uh, I love spending time with my chickens, I love walking my dogs, I live in the country and just being on my own with animals makes me feel good. If you break your arm you go to hospital, uh, to A&E. If you break your mind you should be able to go and ask for help. And day to day that's really going to ch change people, it's going to make a difference.